part of the year. Some of the fights that were in the consideration for this one, we had Dustin Poirier versus Mike Chandler, Jiri versus Glover, Thompson versus Holland, and Alex versus Izzy Adesanya. What we uh, came up to, or the conclusion we ended with, was what I think is one of the best fights of all time. Two battles, just a three-round bout. Burns versus Hamzat. Ben. Yeah, I mean, you say too bad it was only a three a three round bout, but if it was five rounds, somebody might have died in there. I mean, yeah, it's a crazy fight with some crazy pace. One of those fights, fight of the year, fight of the year is one of those fights that has everybody debating about who won the fight. You know, yeah. after it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, just this rock'em sock'em robots type. It's just a fight that was very debatable. You know, had its moments on the ground, had its moments standing up. You had a guy, you know, with a lot of hype and you had the guy that, you know, is is established and already there and was going to be the test. Uh, I think this fight gave us everything that we were asking for, you know, when it was made. Uh, you know, when the odds came out, we said, dang, you know, Gilbert Burns was a dog to Hamza. The same Gilbert Burns who was fighting Kamaru Usman, you know, for the title. The same Gilbert Burns who was finishing these other top five fighters. And a lot of people thought that Gilbert Burns won that fight. And it was kind of just one of those UFC kind of treatments. So you would say Patty Pimlet against Jared Gordon, you know, which recently comes to mind. You know, one of those decisions where you can't necessarily kill the hype, even though I don't think that there would have been much hype killed if Hamza loses that fight after the performance that they put on. Overall, just a great fight, you know, deserves the award that it did get. I don't think that anybody would be upset at a rematch of this, you know, I know it was talked about when the fight first ended because of the controversy with the decision and some people just thinking Burns won, some people thinking Hazmat won. So great fight. The great ones, you never mind running back, would never mind them running this back. Yeah. Roland. Great fight. I, I really, I, again, Ben did a great job of summing this up. The only thing I'll have to say is what makes this a, the fight of the year for me is when you have both fighters, it could have been put that they were both at positions in the fight where they were going to be put out. Both fighters were in positions where you're like, shit, Hamzat's about to go down. He's wobbly. Yeah. He's getting pieced up. Burns is about to put him out. And then there was times in the fight where you're like, shit, how is Burns going to you know, get out of this spot right here? So ha this fight had everything. It had the highs, the lows uh, for both fighters uh, on both sides. Both guys had chances of uh, respectively of you know ending this fight. Uh, with a TKO. Um, so, yeah, got to give this one fight of the year. Yeah, this fight just felt like both guys were able to um, level up their stock in the UFC. Even though that Burns lost, it kind of came out like a, a gangster. Yeah, you know, yeah, Hamzat's sure. word he came out like a gangster in the loss. So, definitely fighter of the, fight of the year for us in 2022.